pretty much living the dream here. We're back in action on the TBC. I just like fish. <laughs> That's all, man. Hey, you go big or go home. A great week. It's always a lot of fun. We got the all stars in, so I'm not worried at all. We got the big stuff out this weekend. <laughs> We're about due again. He said we got the 80s out for the ladies. Nails pitch, 45 Cabo from Freeport, Texas. We're going to try and go win this thing. My wife gripes about how much money the boat costs, so we just named it Sea Dollars Go. <laughs> That's kind of the way it works. How about a big bunch of that? Good crew coming on Stacy Lee Ann. It's gonna be a rodeo out there. It's time to get it on. So we're seconds away from opening the door here at River Place for our pot party. We've got Talk About Good getting set up, getting us ready for dinner. The bartender's already pouring the drinks. Looking forward to a great time tonight down here at River Place in Freeport, Texas. <laughs> so last year, I, I know y'all remember Megan. Last year I fished with her. This year she's fishing with us. I learned everything I know from her and Miss Ann and everyone. Grandma couldn't make it this year, unfortunately. So we're really looking forward to fishing with the tropical honey and see if we can come in first place. It's awesome to be back here in Freeport. We're the premier lodge in Guatemala. If you want to come catch some fish, Jason and the boys came last year. They had a hell of a time. Amazing fishing. It was incredible. If I say the numbers, you wouldn't believe it, but it was amazing. Come see us at the booth and I'll tell you about it. But anyway, good luck to all you anglers out there this weekend. Have a good one. Enjoy it. Catch them up. We'll see you on Saturday here. Everyone's starting to place bets here and online as well. Night's gonna start getting interesting. We'll see what happens. The last couple of days, we've been fishing with some of your finest, and it's been incredible. What you should know about the gentlemen that are sitting over in this table right next to me is that every single one of them is a combat veteran, and almost every single one of them was wounded in combat, including me. So every single one of them went above and beyond the call of duty, and they sacrificed their body, their limbs, uh, they sacrificed their family, uh, their relationships with their spouse, with their kids, to be gone and deploy on, the ha on the behalf of all the patriotic Americans that are sitting in this room. This is what this week is about for us. Freedom Alliance has done a lot for us by opening up our eyes to some of the things that our heroes go through during and after their service bringing them down here in the beautiful city of Freeport and being able to spend a couple days on the water and around this community. It's just really important to have these guys back every year. You know, we've got some returning guys that were here in years past. They've, we've really become friends with these guys. Over at Dorado's Dive Club, good drinks, good food, good laughs, and I guarantee you a lot of lies. We want to love and support this community here and to help these wounded warriors. Guys, this is Maggie uh, and her friend Steve. My husband, Rodney, and I have owned this bar since May 2nd. So we have all come together and the employees are working for free. Just all trying to come together to make this happen because it is important to us. If you catch something and you want to have it cooked fresh, you come to us. That's what we do. Dorados at the well. Loud, loving, loud, loving, come back to me. Welcome on this lovely and sunshine day to the city of Freeport, Texas, where once again we are proud to be the title sponsors of the Texas Bill Fish Classic. I'm standing today in front of the Freeport Veterans Memorial. This is a symbol that we have in Freeport where we stand behind our military. We support our veterans. We support those that are serving now. And that's why we are so proud to support the Texas Bill Fish Classic because they sponsor and help an organization called Freedom Alliance. All of this down here today and this weekend is for the Freedom Alliance. The Freedom Alliance for years has been there standing behind the, the men and women of our services by providing necessary equipment when they're injured, 
by providing scholarships for them, for their children, so they can become educated, by providing care packages when they serve overseas and they're away from their loved ones. We are proud, uh, as folks from Freeport, to be behind this 100%. Freeport is really an undiscovered gem. It's got parks and pools, beaches, and, and fantastic offshore fishing. Its estuaries make it one of the top birding destinations in the United States. We have a great foundation on which to build and a tremendous history. Freeport was founded in November 1912 by the Freeport Sulphur Company. Freeport was also known as the shrimping capital of Texas. Uh, at one point there were over 200 shrimp boats inside the river. The two secrets to the city of Freeport the people and our waterways. We have a great river that runs through the city of Freeport that goes out into the Gulf of Mexico where we have a port that has the shortest distance to get to the deepest water. You want to come down and fish, you come in down here. You want to open up a company and you need employees, you need workers that will work hard for you all day long, you come to the city of Freeport. We have it. We're looking forward to a good three days of fishing. I hope everybody stays safe. 25 boats registered and over $320,000 in cash and prizes. We have a plan, I'm gonna do the daytime thing. They can do what they want to at nighttime. I got to go to bed, I'm old. That's all, man. I hope those guys that got the center consoles do great and, and you know, good on them, hard work, you know. But I don't think I'm going to go back to that. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to catch, but we're going to have fun. Tight lines, guys, and y'all be safe out there. As you can see, we're getting some much needed rain here in the city of Freeport. Been in a drought for a long time. Look at the radar right now. We can see that this stuff's moving offshore. They're probably going to hit, get a little bit of it. Weather's going to get nasty, but the fishing continues to be on fire. The number one charity we support is Freedom Alliance for the Texas Billfish Classic. An amazing group of people. It's a lot more than just fishing. To get out and enjoy Mother Nature and getting to share that with a bunch of brothers as well is absolutely amazing for me. I've always found the outdoors very healing. It's an honor and privilege to be able to take these true uh, American heroes and show them some of the best fishing on the Gulf of Mexico. Freeport is one of the best fisheries in all the Gulf states and uh, we just can't wait to go put them on some fish. What's up? What's happening? Yeah. You're stuck with me. All right, let's get that man. <laughs> Morning. It's just a blast and they, they have a good time. We have a good time. I just want to say a huge thank you for taking our bets out, our Freedom Alliance guys, the last couple of days. We come here once a year and fish the Texas Billfish Classic and like to run this trip with the veterans. It's a real treat for us to be able to be a part of this. When you feel the first one hit it, wait for the second one. See if you can get two of them, right? All right. These guys really know what they're doing. Um, they put some squid on a hook, dropped them, and in, in less than 30 seconds, we were pulling fish out of the water. It was so cool. Son, a double, come on. Just incredible. These guys are really out here supporting us, taking us fishing, and showing us a good time. Nice, yes sir. We were catching some really nice reds, it was crazy. As fast as we could drop them in the water, we were pulling them back out. It was nuts. It was a beautiful thing. We're catching the fish, we're bringing them up. Dolphins are hanging around, they're stealing them away from us. So uh, we had to pack up uh, shop and head off to a new location. Uh, and sure enough, we, that's when we found the Mahi Mahi right after that. All right, let them rip. Getting together, having a good time out on the water and getting some good fishing in here. Fish on. In beautiful Freeport, Texas. Got him lit, man. Guys like this don't get this opportunity to get in the outdoors. I think everyone begins to feel what it means like to be a family again. And a lot of us in the military, we don't realize the value of that camaraderie until it's gone. Uh, and we come back from war, we come back from our time in the service, and uh, that brotherhood, uh, that sisterhood that we had uh, with all of our fellow veterans, uh, in many cases it's gone, and veterans really have a tough time finding that connection again somewhere in the community 
uh, that, that matches that level of camaraderie. And so coming to something like this, an event like this, the Texas Billfish Classic, <laughs> now we get an opportunity for all these veterans, combat veterans, combat wounded veterans, immediately, immediately we fall into place. It's like all the guys back in the unit again, we're sharing stories. Uh, and we're feeling like we're all on the same mission today, which is to, to kick the other boat's butt uh, in the amount of fish that we brought in. You know, the brotherhood in the military is real special, and it's something that most civilians just won't understand. I'm, I have people in the military that I've served with either one year or 20 years that I'm actually really closer to than my family. We have that like-minded respect for each other. Sweat and blood in the same uh, mud you become brothers overnight. Many of the folks who come back from combat, and this group included, uh, still struggle with some of the decisions that they had to make, uh, with some of the things that occurred, some of the things that they witnessed and took part in. And we as a society have to remember that we also sent those soldiers to war. In some small part, we supported them going and taking those actions. And so there's an, an ultimate responsibility uh, for us as an American society to help take care of our troops when they come back. And trips like this, this is where we're making a ton of progress, uh, being able to link up with old friends, uh, being able to make new ones, building that camaraderie and trust again. In my line of work, we call it uh, taking a rock or taking a load out of your rucksack and giving it to one of your partners to help share it. You know? And this, this event, this trip is just one example of being able to lighten everyone's load, uh, sharing it across the group and making their next day a little bit brighter and adding a little bit more hope and making a little bit more progress in their healthy recovery uh, from the Wounds of War. You know, these guys opened up their hearts, they opened up their homes to take us fishing and enjoy it. So I just want to say thank you so much. We really appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Thank you. We need you. We're not going to be able to you know, do it all on our own. If uh, you can help a veteran in need, it's greatly appreciated. I mean, we like to take care of our own, but your support is much needed as well. TBC Tournament Control, lines are out. It's time to weigh some fish. Right now we've got a relapse coming up to the scale. We have a bit of sashimi here for you. My man Kiwi, we had we had the cameraman with us, the ace, so we actually got to make it out. We left, uh, left a little late and came back a little early and uh, we got into some tuna first night. They were coming up on the top, threw at them. Poppers. Yep, poppers. On the popper. He loved it, we loved it. Ace was on the jig, it, it look. It takes them a long time to reel in bait if you have three pounds of drag and you don't realize it till 20 minutes until, it's okay, we won't go there, but he was cranking. He looked good doing it. Great time, it was fun to get out. We went farther than anybody. We went to Magnolia, went to Augur, went to Magnolia, Louisiana waters, caught a blue marlin, caught a sailfish, we caught a yellowfin tuna, we caught a mahi-mahi. Hit it and hit it hard and we got it in the boat and bam, go. eating good tonight. Well, our team is from uh, Port Aransas, actually Aransas Pass, and we fished uh, all three te Texas tournaments this year, and hopefully uh, Freeport's going to be good to us. Go Team Sundown! Who drives yeah. Dragon Up is here. We got Sea Dollars waiting to weigh in. Hanu will be behind them. Hey, this girl right here, Erica Hewley, <laughs> caught three marlin. One of them she fought for an over, a little over an hour, one for about 45 minutes, and the other one 10 minutes. Are you ready for me? <laughs> hey, the popper bite. If you get on the front of that boat and you got the right captain, Captain Gucci, it's over. He knows how to run the boat. Once you're there, ain't nothing but a thing, chicken wang. Somehow, someway, I gotta be the luckiest son buck, baby. Hanu's going to come up next. We caught Dorado, we caught Wahoo, we caught Tuna. There was a lot of fish caught. We heard a lot of fish being caught, and we had a great time. Caught a lot of fish, just not the, not the big one we were looking for. New boat, he brought it back from Florida in September of last year, this first uh, tournament we fished here. We had a good time. Uh, the name of the boat's the Rebecca. It's a 63-foot FNS. <clears throat> the owner, greatest owner in the world, Mr. John Ramming. My name's Clinton Clark. We got Reed Jones, Cody Schmidt, Alan Latham, and Scott Cummins, and Jonathan Zaludek on the boat with us here. Our kind of style of fishing is typically, you know, we're fishing with lighter line and catch and release. Uh, all in all, pretty good fishing. We had 
Had some had some bites. Boys swung good. It was fun. Happy days. Happy days. Oh, we had an awesome team. Cody came through for us, caught this nice wahoo here. Cash, our youth angler on the boat, also caught a wahoo. I got lucky and caught one too. It's coming up. Uh, Cody, great to have him with us. He uh, also landed his uh, first blue marlin and had a great trip on that as well. We, we haven't thrown Cody in the water yet for catching his blue marlin, but uh, I'm sure that's going to happen before we get back to the docks. Met a lot of cool people down here in Freeport and uh, caught a lot of fish. Uh, we just big shout out to all the all, all of our veterans. Tropical honey is out. Next up, we got sales pitch coming to the scales. You know he's got a bit of an attitude right now. He's uh, he caught some fish. He's been up for three days, so we we'll cut him some slack. We got plenty of sleep though, which is a good thing. Well, we're a local boat. You know we go out out of Freeport, so we know some spots here and there. Stayed in close. Had one day where we uh, the bite was on for one day. It was about an hour and a half where we caught all those billfish. We were three for three. Basically, that's just pure hard work, I'll tell you. That, that one was grinded out at night by uh, Eric. All right, we're going to get back in the boat. It was great talking to you guys. Sales pitch is just pulled out. Next up, we got Hammer Down. Here they got a big tuna to weigh. We're Team Hammer Down. We're out of Surfside, Texas. Uh, mainly went after tuna, basically meat fish kill, killing. Um, had a pretty good trip. Uh, bot was pretty hot. Uh, other than that, I mean, as you can tell, it's a pretty, pretty decent trip. Um, gone some rough weather this morning, but and all day today, but we managed through it and got here safely. That's all that matters, and had a good trip. So here we are. Uh, we lost a, lost a sale this morning, um, but that's just the game of it. Brittany Skira over here looking dang good. You know why? She's a cosmetologist and she knows what the hell to do when she's out there on that boat. You know, three days, and she looks like that. That fish settled in and stayed right there for like, what, maybe, a, honestly, hour 45 minutes before we, before we started bringing him up. And yes, back hurt, everything. He was nasty. Dulos backing up to the scale right now. We're about to see what they have. Should be interesting. Haven't caught tuna all year. This is our bi biggest one so far. Well, besides her. We're from Dulos, Captain Rand Clark, and uh, we're from Port Aransas, Texas. What was, what was the funnest? Catching tuna. Caught a lot of tuna. Yeah, a lot of tuna. Last boat's pulling out. We're done at the scales. We're going to move down the river here to River Place and find out who's getting the money. Welcome to the 2022 Texas Billfish Classic. All right, we're going to start up with the tuna category. Let's get the music going. Have a good night. 